Good morning, Finley Dreamers. Good morning, Mrs. Adams. And good morning, Finley Scholars. Good morning, Mr. Miller. Good morning, Finley family. Good morning, Mr. Kirby. Today we have on Olivia from second grade and Abby from fourth grade. So happy to see both of you. And what a great start to the morning. It just totally changed what I was going to say on morning meeting. You know, some people talk about how the weather influences how they feel. In other words, that if they see a sunny day, they're happy. And if they see a rainy day, they're sad. And I'm thinking that our weather can come from inside. So your mood of the day is all about your outlook. And I tell you, when people show that they're excited and happy and they care about Finley, wow, does that really add to my outlook. So this morning you noticed North High students were here. Maybe you heard the band playing. Maybe you greeted uh, somebody in sports at the door. Maybe you saw people in North High clothing. And that's because this is their homecoming week. Homecoming means anybody who went to North High, no matter how old they are, sometimes they think about their years in high school and have that same school spirit and support the students who are at North High this year. And you know, or maybe you don't know, that Mrs. O'Brien, one of our staff members, has a grandson currently at North High, and he was here playing the drums today. So... so it, it, it is just a great way to be a polar bear cub today. Yes. Yeah, I was not expecting all that, but it was a great thing to have that happen. It's a nice surprise for me and the students and everybody else involved with it. So that was fantastic. The one thing I'm thinking about today is this. I have to say I'm so happy or pleased or whatever word I could say with a positive tint to it is that the closing circles are happening in some of these classrooms and they're talking about what they learn each and every day. It, it could be related to math or reading, but it could re be related to how we get along with others and our goals for the day for our particular classroom as a whole. So I'm always excited to see what's ending in that way. So please keep that up. And another thing, getting ready for tomorrow's positive office referrals. What I also like about that is teachers and students are sharing in their voice to pick those students. They look around and have that positive mindset. Who is choosing to do right things in all areas? or improving in a little bit, like we talked about yesterday, just that little bit, and making a difference in their own individual goals. And students recognize that with each other. So that's exciting to me to think about all that today. I'm in a good mindset. You are in a great mindset. And you know, it's, it's this making the most of it, making the most of every minute of every day, that's a lot to think about, but making the most of the moment that you're in, whether it's rain and cats and dogs outside, whether you're surprised by a marching band playing in your elementary school hallway, or whether you see older students who have been here and done what you're doing today, uh, making the most of every opportunity that we have will put us in a better place in the long run. Whether you're making the most of those little changes and little opportunities each day, because when we think ahead, you can look, some of these students from North that were here welcoming us today were students at Findlay not all that long ago. In fact, a couple of them went to look for some teachers before the doors opened that they knew and loved and made the most of when they were here. So yes, the message of encouragement today is make the most of it because you've got every opportunity in such a great environment. So. I know we're going to make the most of it, and I know that our students this morning have some things that they'd like to say to make the most of today. Olivia?
I have a shout out. Shout out. I have a shout out for Mrs. Hall for being a good teacher. Mrs. Hall is an excellent teacher and very helpful. Thanks, Olivia. I know she appreciates hearing that. Abigail? I have a shout out. Shout, shout out. out. Um, I have a shout out for Miss LeBlanc. She is very helpful and kind because um, I think she is the best teacher. Excellent. Always good to hear this, these encouraging words. It's great to hear on morning meeting, but everyone has the ability to share a compliment or a shout out in person, live in a classroom. If you like something that you see, say something because it will make a difference in that person's day and you'll be making the most of it. And that will pay off because as you grow and as you build and as you grow through high school and maybe come back and blow a tuba in our face while we're walking in the door, you'll be building on those things and those, and those skills and someday you might find yourself in college. So how about one of our traditions, the Findlay College Cheer, ready? One, two, ready, go. Two, four, six, eight. When does fifth grade graduate? 20, 20, 2033. Two, four, six, eight. When does fourth grade graduate? 20, 20, 2034. Two, four, six, eight. When does third grade graduate? 20, 20, 2035. Two, four, six, eight. When does second grade graduate? 20, 20, 2036. Two, four, six, eight. When does first grade graduate? 20, 20, 2037. Two, four, six, eight. When does kindergarten graduate? 20, 20, 2038. Finley dreamers, dream big. Yeah. We believe. We believe. Pull hearts. Pull hearts. Better together. Better together. Yeah.